Hi guys, let's see the teeth close up. Um, some of you probably wondered how this is made. Now remember that stuff I told you about the little pellets. Well, I'm not going to be putting any new teeth in because I just put these in. These are last about six months. But there was one tooth I didn't do in the back, which is the molar. Which is actually pretty simple. Um... You buy the right pellets, the ones that are white and clear, because the clear ones are just glue. And you put those in very hot water, and I put them in a little spoon so that they um, don't float around. That's in that way you can tell you've got the wrong ones. If they're not, if the ones that you buy are not clear or if they're white, if they're white pellets. Those are the right ones. Okay, they're not adhesive. Oh, they might call them adhesive. Okay, but the point is, let's explain this. So what you do is you um you put them in warm water, and you allow them to um get transparent, and then it's like it's like clumped like like clay, and you just mold it, and you just cram it in there, and uh. And it's, it'll get hard, it'll turn white again. And um, that's the look, which is a major step in the right direction. The only thing that you need to worry about with the glue or the, the artificial teeth stuff is two things. Number one, the stuff will stain with coffee and tea. So another thing is, depending on how many teeth you're missing, uh... And it might need a little more to fix it. Because of the situation with the lower tooth and the bottom jaw. Well, I'm going to talk about that real quick. Um, every time I kept making the the guard, if you want to call it a guard, I can call it a guard. Um, I kept the two of those this way, sideways. It's supposed to be straight up. So, of course, it didn't cure right. Because it was... Now, I managed to trigger the curing section where I did was once I put the tooth straight up and they rammed it down, which irritated the gum just a tiny bit. So now the gum is basically surrounding the tooth like um, like an invading army on the root of the tooth. And uh, what they're going to do is since it is not a foreign object tooth, they're going to see it's their own, one of their own, and they're going to begin the process of connecting to the root and the begin process of re-securing the tooth to the mouth. The problem is how long it could take. Um, it is possible it may never take, but let's say it does. Um, six months, this stuff will in your mouth until it deteriorates to nothing in about six months' time. So that's a good thing. To make sure that the tooth downstairs is totally immobilized, this lower one is extra thick. Uh, really thick. Okay? That's so that it's not going to work loose. That's important. Because just like with a, like a broken bone or something, the idea is we want to make sure that the bone can, uh, the tooth can knit back in with the gums again. And then once it's six months later, it should be firm enough in the mouth there that um, you can just, Take this off because you will be changing this out. Say, Ron, you'll put a new one in, or you can sleep it in until it basically starts to come apart on its own. Um, the other thing is, too, is because it is um, porous material. I don't have a zoom on it. You can see the, where the tooth is. It's a little on the side. And you can see where it is now. Hey, you can't. And there's a there's an actual tooth here. This gap here was a gap that developed um, between the two teeth. So that's where it was shoving the little glue balls, and they were not holding very long. Those things were terrible. I couldn't even use them for glue. I tried to use them for glue, and I just couldn't work with it. Um, the um, so the thing is, is that's how we fix the teeth, and. Um, it works. It's it's not 
great. It's not fantastic. Um, but it, it does work. And um, so if make sure when you get this stuff, make sure you get the one that actually is make teeth making beads, not the glue beads or adhesive beads. There's a difference. If the beads you see on the internet are clear and maybe come with little plastic tweezers, you know you got the wrong stuff. We reviewed that stuff and the disaster that was. Um, maybe you can even mix the two together. Although, I'll be honest, it's real no reason to. So, just go ahead and make some new teeth. Uh, by the way, it's going to be very warm today. Um, where I am. So, uh, last night, for those of you who didn't know, um, I was on Androgyny's channel, and we did the review over there. Uh, I am still queen answer side chat questions, but I had, um, felt like eating, um, lots of extra edible chocolate and for 80, 20 milligrams of THC, and I was, like, out of it. Oh, um, I suppose it didn't hurt with the tooth work either, because, uh, you know, the stuff is kind of dull pain. Yeah, well, it didn't really hurt, but just the same. Um, also, I know the time expands, or seems to expand. Maybe in reality, is maybe I'm running hyperspeed and I just think everything's running slow. I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, so the thing is, is the, um, uh, we had a lot of good questions come up. And, um, and that was cool. You know, so, you know. And then, of course, I wasn't feeling too well. It was kind of high. And I came on Bobby Stair's channel. Of course, he was feeling under really under the weather because of the antibiotics were interacting with his digestive system. And um, so for his cellulitis and his toe, and um, so we just went ahead and um, got some, you know, said we'll do the show tonight. We'll try to do the show tonight. Because I'm waiting for Crystal right now to come over. And uh, I'm going to give her the money uh, out on where gave me the gift to her. Uh, I don't know her PayPal, so I was I could have dropped it right into her PayPal. Um, but so I'll probably say I want you to get $50 of gasoline because I, I can't really... Take oh, fifty eight dollars because of the exchange rate and then the ATM fee. So maybe we can give her fifty bucks. So I'm probably gonna give Chris the fifty bucks today, so that she can get her um, or give her gasoline for the car so she'll have a full tank. I don't know what happens if if she gets more gasoline than she can actually buy use, but um, I'll talk to her about it. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later today. Okay? Bye-bye.